Port towns around the world watch their populations swell by thousands in a single hour as cruise ships arrive and unleash their human cargo. Due to their massive stature, these ships function like moving cities, but unlike the average city, these watercraft are designed for luxury. Complete with restaurants, swimming pools, and amusements, there is no shortage of activities for the whole family. Only a few ports in the world are qualified to build these massive vessels, and when a new one is constructed, it sends ripples throughout the industry. Today, we are counting down the five biggest cruise ships in the world. The Ada Nova is currently charted by Carnival Cruise Lines and remains the fifth largest cruise ship in the world. Weighing a whopping 183,000 tons, this boat is a monster at sea. And it's highly lucrative for Carnival because they can pack 6,600 passengers and 1,500 crew members on board. The boat was launched in December 2018 at an open air party with David Guetta DJing an enormous crowd. Ada Nova cost a reported $1.1 billion to build and is more than 330 meters long, weighing 184,000 tons, with 20 decks, 17 restaurants, and 23 bars. Onboard passengers can enjoy a massage at the giant onboard spa, covering 3,500 square meters, or take in a show at the Theatrium 360-degree theater. The theater shows include Show Me, Yellow, an audio-visual performance based around the Swiss pop duo Yellow's work. They're most famous for their song Oh Yeah, which was heavily featured in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. German-based Ada, a brand owned by Carnival, has 12 ships in its fleet, all of which feature a face painted on the bow. The cruise line has three more ships under construction to be delivered by 2023. The Ada Nova is also the world's first cruise ship to be powered by liquefied natural gas, cutting down on its emissions. After hitting several ports in Northern Europe, the monolithic cruise ship will be offering cruises around the Canaries from Gran Canaria and Tenerife weekly. Apart from those, the ports of the islands of Madeira, Fuerteventura, and Lanzarote will be visited. Unfortunately, the release of the ship was delayed due to a serious accident while the ship was still under construction. Fire erupted in cabins of the brand new mega cruise ship in the Netherlands early in the morning of October 24th. Many fire engines were deployed. The fire was reportedly restricted to one cabin only and extinguished. Authorities suspected arson and a criminal investigation is still in place, though no arrests have been made. In case you're considering adding an Ada Nova to your fleet, they do not come cheap. This particular model cost about $950 million just for construction. This doesn't include promotion, insurance, and other hidden costs. Though it will take Carnival many years to make up this enormous investment, it's clear they have one of the most impressive ships at sea. Coming in at number 4 is the Oasis of the Seas. This moving mountain is operated by Royal Caribbean International. When construction finished in 2009, Oasis of the Seas set the world record for highest capacity, with 6,300 passengers and 2,300 staff. Built in Turku, Finland, Oasis of the Seas took almost three full years to construct. While it has been successfully shuttling patrons all around the world for almost 10 years, Oasis of the Seas has had its fair share of accidents, too. During its very first sail, tugboats, which were bringing it out to sea, malfunctioned and struck a retaining wall, causing cosmetic damage that was ultimately fixed. But much more recently, in April 2019, cranes collapsed at the Grand Bahama shipyard in Freeport, Bahamas, hitting dry docked Oasis of the Seas, which was undergoing maintenance work on azipods in the afternoon of April 1st. Eight workers were injured and hospitalized, none with life-threatening injuries. Extent of damages sustained by the ship were yet unknown, but a representative from Royal Caribbean International stated that the ship would not be operational for some time. The gross tonnage of this craft is 225,000. That's an amazing size, and it's just the beginning of the incredible features of this ship. First of all, it was built with the environment in mind. There are $750,000 worth of solar panels distributed around the ship. The boat is divided into seven distinct neighborhoods. Each of these has a central theme, the boat has a series of firsts in entertainment. It boasts a rock climbing wall, in addition to the world's first at-sea zip line and carousel. Add to this a wave pool, scuba diving certification courses, dozens of five-star restaurants, and a theater featuring Cats the Musical, ice skating, and a rendition of Disney's Frozen, and you have the makings of an incredible vacation for the whole family. But there's even more packed on this floating fortress. It also includes a miniature golf course, multiple nightclubs, several bars and lounges, a karaoke club, comedy club, five swimming pools, volleyball and basketball courts, youth zones, and nurseries for children. Many of the ship's interiors were extensively decorated by muralist Clarissa Parrish. And Royal Caribbean has partnered with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to help improve the lives of terminally ill children. 
The ship was formally named on November 30, 2009 during a charity sailing for Make-A-Wish Foundation. At this ceremony, the ship was sponsored by seven godmothers, each representing one of the seven neighborhoods on board. Her godmothers are Gloria Estefan, Michelle Kwan, Dara Torres, Keshia knight Pulliam, Sean Johnson, Jane Seymour, and Daisy Fuentes. Tickets for the event began at $750 per person, with all the proceeds benefiting the charity. Since 2000, the cruise line has hosted more than 1,300 children who wish to go on a cruise to destinations around the world, and has contributed contributed more than $2.8 million in in-kind services and $372,000 in discount savings through its Wishes at Sea program. This is impressive, but not nearly as impressive as the cost of the ship, which comes in at $1.4 billion. And those aren't the only stats surrounding this ship. 110,231 pounds of ice cubes are made daily. Its central park has 12,500 plants, 62 vine plants, 56 trees, and bamboo. The aqua theater pool is 17.9 feet deep and is one of the largest pools at sea. In order to quench the thirst of its passengers, 4.7 million pounds of fresh water are consumed every 24 hours. To decorate the ship, there are 7,000 works of specially commissioned art. There are 20 chefs, 222 cooks, and 102 sanitation and cleaning culinary crew. All breads and pastries are made fresh on board. The bakery has a machine that makes 4,000 rolls an hour. And finally, the consumption in an average week includes 15,600 pounds of beef, 16,000 pounds of chicken, 18,000 pounds of potatoes, 8,000 gallons of ice cream, 10,200 bottles of beer, 86,400 eggs, 45,000 pounds of fresh fruit, 62,000 pounds of fresh vegetables, 2,225 bottles of wine, 3,500 bottles of water, and 18,000 slices of pizza. Another mega cruise ship operated by Royal Caribbean, the Allure of the Seas was christened in 2009 and cost an overwhelming $1.2 billion to construct. At the time of its launch, the Allure of the Seas held the world record for world's largest passenger ship. It measures 1,118 feet from bow to stern. The ship is breathtaking, both in scale and ambition. Although it's vast, it never feels overwhelming because its public spaces are broken up into seven neighborhoods. On deck four, you'll find Entertainment Place, complete with an indoor ice skating rink and various clubs and lounges. The Royal Promenade is the signature shopping area, the length of a football field, with a pair of enormous skylights to let the sunshine pour in. The outdoor boardwalk neighborhood was inspired by Coney Island, with family-friendly restaurants, shops, a carousel, and the aqua theater. Passengers can enjoy Broadway at Sea, Mamma Mia, and a Lady Gaga dance class, among many other offerings. The foliage-filled Central Park, covered in some 12,000 plants, 60 of which are trees, is a more upscale restaurant and retail hub. The fronts of decks 6 and 7 are given over to fitness and well-being in Vitality at Sea Spa. Deck 14 is all about the kids and Adventure Ocean. And at the back of the ship, right up on Deck 15, you have the sports area, complete with Flowrider surf simulators, a zip line, mini golf, ping pong, and basketball courts. Identical in many ways to both Oasis of the Seas and Harmony of the Seas, this craft can hold 6,300 passengers and 2,300 staff. Its main port of call is Miami, while it services the Caribbean. However, for one season, it was based out of Barcelona and toured around the Mediterranean. In terms of technical specs, the 12,000-ton ship has a height of 213 feet above the waterline, with a maximum beam of 154 feet. It is propelled by three electric azimuth thrusters of 20 megawatts each and Varsila diesel engines. The ship can travel at a cruising speed of 22 knots, a pretty impressive pace for such a mammoth vessel. Ordered in 2012 and completed in 2015, Harmony of the Seas is another sister ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet. It was briefly the largest ship in the world, measuring 226,000 tons. Because cruise ships are inherently very wasteful and inefficient, Royal Caribbean attempted to make Harmony of the Seas more streamlined than its sister ships. Harmony of the Seas is 20% more energy efficient than her sister ships Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas. Small air bubbles from the keel reduce drag and thus fuel consumption by 7 to 8%, and a smooth hull surface further reduces reduces resistance. The bubble system also reduces propeller noise. LED and fluorescent lamps replace incandescent light bulbs, reducing power consumption and the need for air conditioning. The engine system uses a waste heat recovery system and drives three Azipod propellers. On top of a series of world-class restaurants, clubs, and bars, Harmony at Sea features an amazing array of attractions. The cruise ship offers three multi-story water slides with twists and turns over Central Park 10 decks below. The full-service Vitality Spa features a thermal suite and an extensive treatment menu, while a state-of-the-art fitness center offers yoga and tai chi classes. The guests are also offered four pools, including the solarium, 10 whirlpools, two flowrider surf simulators, two rock climbing walls, a full-size basketball court, an ice skating rink, and a mini golf course. 
Likewise, the entertainment on board, whether small-scale like an acoustic guitarist or larger than life like the production of Grease, is simply outstanding. The ship's restaurants offer everything from low-key grab-and-go meals to multi-course hours-long culinary extravaganzas. They'll be prepared for a variety of quality, with the extra-cost venues generally being much better. Since 2016, there have been three fatalities on board. One involved a lifeboat falling and crushing a crew member, and seriously injuring four others. The next involved a performer falling overboard, never to be recovered, and finally a 16-year-old boy fell to his death from the fifth floor. They found his body but were unable to resuscitate him. Creating a new class of cruise ships, Symphony of the Seas has surpassed the rest of the Royal Caribbean fleet in many ways. The first is size. Its net weight is more than 250,000 tons, and its length is more than 1,180 feet. The 6,680 passenger Symphony of the Seas is the newest ship in Royal Caribbean's Oasis fleet. This massive ship, which set sail in 2018 and is the largest cruise ship in the world, has 2,200 crew members and features 18 decks packed with activities. For heart-pounding fun, travelers will find a surf simulator, an indoor ice skating rink, two 40-foot rock walls, a zip line, and a 10-story slide. Meanwhile, relaxation seekers can unwind in the spa, sip cocktails made by robotic bartenders, or stroll through the Central Park-inspired neighborhood. Onboard snacks and meals are served at more than 15 quick-service and sit-down eateries. The main dining room is where the ship's traditional, complimentary dinners are provided nightly, but specialty options like a steakhouse, a bistro, and a Johnny Rockets outpost are also available. What's more, cruisers can dine at Jamie's Italian, a restaurant helmed by celebrity chef Jamie Oliver. Despite having many of the same features as other ships in its class, Royal Caribbean was not afraid to go bigger with Symphony, adding new concepts like Battle for Planet Z Laser Tag, Hooked, a seafood restaurant, Play makers, a sports bar and arcade, Sugar Beach, an expanded ice cream and sweet shop, and El Loco Fresh, a new Mexican eatery. The strong execution of these fresh ventures along with their mass appeal almost guarantees that Royal Caribbean has ushered in a new generation of fleet-wide favorites. Even better, half of the new venues are included in the cruise fare. Also unlike the other ships, the Symphony of the Sea has a designated god family. It's none other than Alexa Vega and her family. Vega was the star of the Spy Kids franchise and is now a dedicated mother to her son, Ocean. Obviously, this $1.35 billion vessel didn't need any financial sponsorship. Vega and her family are merely meant to be the spiritual sponsors of the boat. This comes from old nautical superstition but still exists to this day. Their sponsorship must be working because so far there have been no serious accidents on board.